Hi, and welcome to Golf Sky Drones YouTube channel. I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about the parts and pieces needed to upgrade your SD16 to an SD16 Plus, and adding the two antenna tubes and the longer antenna receiver on your Typhoon H to bring your older Typhoon H and SD16 up to the current Typhoon H Pro model at a pretty decent price. Down below I'll list the part numbers and the cost of each piece that you'll need to do this upgrade. Um, there are videos out there on how to open up your Typhoon H and replace the old one with the new one. Um, I'm not going to recreate opening up and doing it. I'm just going to provide what I've done, show you the example of how it turned out, and you can go and search a couple of the, the sites online to find out how you crack open your ST16 and or your Typhoon H to replace the pieces and stuff. Um, I might search those out and put those and include those in the, the title below as well or in the information below along with the, with the other information so you have at least examples on where to go to do this. But first off, let me show you my ST16. My ST16 is right here. This was the regular ST16 at one time. I purchased all my gear back in May or June of last year. Um, so I had one of the first beta testing machines for 2016 on this craft and it came with the two antennas. It had the one antenna here and then it had the, the 5.8 antenna over on this side. Since then I've upgraded it to the three antenna and I purchased the Unique uh, patch antenna right here from Unique for $6.95. I think it was about $12 uh, total including shipping to my house for this part which is a lot cheaper than buying the immersion antenna which I had purchased before for like $22 um, but I wanted mine to, to replicate the Typhoon H Pro as it does right now and I'll tell you that this antenna actually is pretty decent compared to the Immersion. I've, I've actually enjoyed this one much better than the Immersion one and it was half the cost so there's a video that I'll um, or there's a link for the video to show you how to conduct this on, on YouTube that I will post down below to direct you to if you desire to do this, but also the part number for this will be included down below so when you call Unique and order all these parts that you'll know exactly what to get. So if you buy this and purchase this stuff in here as well that, that goes with the bird, you'll save some shipping costs. I did them separately. I did this one first and then I did this one second, so I paid double shipping, which is probably about... So you could save, you know, six, six bucks more by ordering all the pieces all at once. Um, one of these antennas, I think, was like the same price as this, six or seven antennas. I do not have the part number for this, so you're going to have to ask them what the part number is for this, but I do know what the part number is for this one right here, which is which will be included. And then on my Typhoon H, I've got, now remember, this was one of the ones that had the, the shorter antennas coming out the sides back here, one on one side and one on the other. So since then, I have purchased, here's one of the antenna tubes right here, if you can see that. But I installed this antenna tube. I do not have one over here on this side because I was told by um, the parts department at Unic that these came as a pair and they didn't. They came as singles. So the part number for the tube that I list down below, make sure you get two of these because it's actually, they come as singles, not as, as pairs. And then the receiver part that has the longer antennas right here to fit through those tubes, um, the part number will be also included in that. Um, but there's a video online that shows you how to take apart, crack open the box on here, pull the legs off. Um, the only thing is you just have to find the old antennas, pull them out, pull the old receiver out, unplug it, plug the new one in, and then route the, the um, antennas the same way as the old one. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, I just didn't want to videotape while I was doing it because I was kind of excited to put it in there. But a lot of people don't know what these part numbers are for the tubes or the receiver part of it. Um, so getting the parts will be pretty easy because I'll supply those. Um, that information for you down below, or I might pop them up as, in a in a screenshot as I'm editing this. I'll put the part number and it'll show up on the screen so you know exactly what to do. So, things that you need to do to do the upgrade is is you would need to purchase a unique patch antenna, an extra antenna here. Um, there's a cable that in the video that I'll list that shows you how to do the upgrade. There's a cable that you have to buy that plugs in down on the board inside. Um, that'll be an extra piece that you'll have to buy from uh, a separate company to do that. Actually, um, 
you need, might even sell that part when you call them up and ask them for this antenna, this antenna, ask them for the, the cable that attaches the patch antenna to the board. I'll guarantee you they got it and they can probably include it with you, but I didn't need it because I already had a, that part. So you need the antenna, the antenna, the cable, the receiver antenna here, and then the two tubes. And that's it. Roughly it costs, I would say, $70 at the most to upgrade this and this together. Um, with parts and pieces, the the most the most expensive part was the receiver with the, the larger the longer antennas. It was thirty five dollars. Um, the tubes were four ninety nine a piece, so that was ten dollars for that. So it's thirty five forty five dollars for to do this part. Six ninety nine for the patch antenna. I think it was like about six bucks for that. So that's twelve dollars. And then another one. So you're looking at actually you're looking at probably about fifty five sixty bucks total to do both of them. But it's an easy thing to do. Remember that your warranty is void after you do this, so make sure that you understand that, that once you crack open this box, or crack open your Typhoon Ace, that your warranty is void at that time if you're still under warranty. I'm past six months right Please now. Please like and subscribe. Hope this information is informative to you and helps you in deciding which way to go in upgrading or modifying your Typhoon Ace.